deflection magnetometer, the moment of a magnet, tangy and tangy positions. The aim of our experiment is to find the magnetic moment of a magnet using deflection magnetometer arranging in tan A and tan B positions and the apparatus used are deflection magnetometer and a magnet. Stop. Here is our apparatus. This is the deflection magnetometer. We have the scale and this two are the arms of the deflection magnetometer. Here we can see the compass. We have a circular scale inside the compass and we can see there is two things inside the compass a short magnetic needle and an aluminium pointer the short magnetic needle always points north and the circular scale is divided into four quadrants each being graduated from 0 degree to 90 degree the deflection magnetometer works based on the principle of tangent law according to tangent law when a magnet is placed in two mutually perpendicular magnetic fields with intensities B and BH, the magnet comes to rest making an angle theta with the direction of BH such that B equal to BH tan theta. The two positions in which B and BH perpendicular are tan A and tan B positions. The tan A position. In the tan A position, the deflection magnetometer or apparatus in the east-west direction. From the figure, we can see that the zero zero of the circular scale is kept parallel to the arm of the deflection magnetometer. Similarly, the magnet is also placed parallel to the arm of the deflection magnetometer. Here, in tan A position, the magnetic moment is calculated using the equation capital M is equal to 4 pi by mu zero bh d square minus l square whole square tan theta by 2d. Here m is the magnetic moment, d is the distance between the magnet and the compass, 2l is the length of the bar magnet. Also the equation for finding pole strength of the magnet m is equal to capital M by 2l. Now moving on to the tan b position. In tan b position the deflection magnetometer is kept roughly in the north-south direction. From the figure we can see that the 90-90 of the circular scale is kept parallel to the deflection magnetometer. Also, the magnet is kept perpendicular to the arm. Here, the equation for calculating magnetic moment m is equal to 4 pi by mu 0 d square plus l square whole raised to 3 by 2 bh tan theta. The centimeter scale here is starting from 6 cm. That is because when we are taking the readings, we take, we measure from the center of the compass to the center of the magnet. As I mentioned earlier, the magnetic moment is calculated in two different positions, tan A and tan B. Here we are going to calculate the tan A position. The deflection magnetometer is kept roughly in the east-west direction and the magnet is kept parallel to the arm. The zero zero of the circular scale is kept parallel to the arm as you can see and the apparatus is then adjusted in order to keep the aluminium needle in zero zero position. This is the tan A position. Now we can start taking the readings. It is better to take our readings from 30 degree to 60 degree to reduce errors. Moving on to the readings, keep the magnet parallel to the arm and move slowly towards the compass to avoid over shivering of the needle. Move forward until the compass shows 30 degree of deflection. The corresponding value on the meter scale is noted. As I said earlier, the measurement is taken from the center of the compass box to the center of the magnet. As you can see, the center of the magnet is marked with a line and the value we obtained is 23 cm. Corresponding value on the circular scale is roughly 29 degree and 30 degree. This can be taken as our theta 1 and theta 2. Now, from this 23 cm, we take our magnet back and flip it to the opposite poles and repeat the procedure. This time, the magnet is brought to the previous 23 cm and the values are noted. 
thus sour theta 3 and theta 4. The same experiment is carried out in the next arm. We bring the magnet slowly to the above measured 23 cm and obtain theta 5 and theta 6. Then flip it and obtain theta 7 and theta 8 respectively. For tan B position, the deflection magnetometer is kept roughly in the north-south direction and the magnet is kept perpendicular to the arm. The 1090 of the circular scale is kept parallel to the arm now and the apparatus is adjusted in order to keep the aluminium needle in 0, 0 position. This is our tan B position. Let us start taking the readings. Keep the magnet perpendicular to the arm and move slowly towards the compass. Move forward until the compass shows 30 degree of deflection. The corresponding value on the meter scale is noted. The measurement is taken from the center of the compass box to the center of the magnet. As you can see, the center of the magnet is marked with a line and the value we obtained is 17.1 cm. The corresponding value on the circular scale is roughly 30 degree and 30 degree. This is our theta 1 and theta 2. Now, from the 17.1 cm, we take our magnet back and flip it to the opposite poles and repeat the procedure. This time, the magnet is brought to the previous 17.1 cm and the values are noted. This is our theta 3 and theta 4. The same experiment is carried out in the next arm. We bring the magnet slowly to the above measured 70.1 cm and obtain theta 5 and theta 6. Then flip it and obtain theta 7 and theta 8. Let me show you an example of the calculation. The tan A position. First, we need to measure the length of the magnet. So, take out the magnet that is provided and measure its length. Here the length of my magnet that is given by 2L is equal to 7.5 into 10 raised to minus 2 meter. And we know that horizontal component of Earth's magnetic field BH is equal to 0 0.38 into 10 raised to minus 4 Tesla. Take a look at the box. Here the distance from the center of the convex box to the center of the magnet is 20 cm and the corresponding theta readings are given. From theta 1 to theta 8, the mean deflection theta is obtained as 50.25. Now, for tan A position, we know the equation m is equal to 4 pi by mu 0 bh d square minus l square whole square by 2d tan theta. We can replace 4 pi by mu 0 as 10 raised to 7. Substitute the values of d bh, l and theta in the above equation and calculate the magnetic moment. Here the value is 1.70135. After calculating mean theta for all of the given values, calculate the mean magnetic moment. Using this magnetic moment, we can also calculate the pole strength of the magnet which is given by the equation m is equal to m by 2l. Similarly, for calculating the magnetic moment of tan B position, the 2L and BH is the same value. Calculate the mean theta from the given values. For distance 14 cm, here I got 55.5 as the mean theta. Substituting an equation M is equal to 10 raised to 7 BH d square minus L square whole raised to 3 by 2 tan theta, I got M is equal to 1.7001. Take the mean of all the magnetic moments and calculate the pole strength using M and 2L.